What's good people, it's me, it's Ted, it's another episode from Blunt Tech Talks. Um, thank you very much for clicking on the video and if you're not subscribed already to the channel then please click that button. Um, and yeah, just to get into this one, pissed off like, I don't know what I've just witnessed, I don't know what I've just watched. It was absolute garbage, we were playing a championship team and we looked like we were old first division club, it was absolute trash. Um, start off with our passing game was just ridiculous. Most of our balls were just going astray, they were going out, we're giving away stupid throw ins. Um, in terms of Brentford's passing game as well, like we just weren't intercepting the balls, we just weren't, we were just watching every single pass go straight past us. Um, second half, we ended up with four strikers on the pitch and still nothing, you know. Gale came on, um, you know, he went down, I thought for a minute he was injured again. Um, he had another opportunity, the ball just went astray from him. Like, nobody was looking on point today. Andy Carroll, like, even he got some time on the pitch. Um, did nothing really, you know. At the end, I don't know if anybody saw it, at the end, like, Andy Carroll's laughing. Like, you shouldn't be coming on, 1-0 down in, in the cup, and, and laughing in front of the cameras. It's disrespectful to the fans at home that are watching this bullshit, man. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely fuming, man. Absolutely fuming. Um, you know, last few minutes as well, Longstaff just giving away an absolutely ridiculous foul. Um, you know, the Brentford are already trying to run down the clock and you're just giving it to them. Um, just before that as well, I think Joe Linton did the same thing, you know, for on the, up the other end of the field. Like, what we're playing at, you know, there's no urgency whatsoever to score tonight. There was no urgency. Um, and more than ever tonight, all I've seen is you know, normally it happens when we've got a safe maximum on the pitch, when we just seem to play the long ball up the field, we just hoof it up the field, get to safe maximum, but we've been doing that tonight as well. Um, Any time that we've had the ball in any kind of position in, in Brentford's side of the field, we've passed it back to Darlow. You know, within two or three passes, it's back at Darlow, who has then just hammered it back up the pitch and given away possession again. I think we've had slightly more possession than we've had in like recent games, but it's irrelevant, man, because it turned to nothing. Brentford made us look stupid tonight, and they weren't playing that great either. A lot of their passes were going astray, or well, they're going out as well. Um, but they made us look stupid. Next run of games, you know, we've got we've got we've got Man City on I think Boxing Day. You know, we've got no chance. We're going to get absolutely annihilated. Next four games, I think we're getting like zero points out of it. Um, so that's it, out the cup. Next four games, zero points, maybe maybe a point, maybe maybe a couple of points, maybe three points if we're lucky. Um, we're going to be drifting towards that relegation zone. I see people saying, sack Steve Bruce, Bruce out. You know, I want him gone as well, I really do, but let's face it, who is who's going to replace him? Who's going to come along to Newcastle United, the state that we're in right now? Um, you know, somebody suggested Mike Bassett earlier, obviously it was a joke. But, we'd be better off with Bertie Bassett than Mike Ashley. This is ridiculous, I'm disgusted by it, I'm fed up with watching us play like this and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Our fitness levels look terrible. Um, everyone just looks unfit, it's just, what is going on? Steve Bruce, we know he doesn't like to get him down at a training field more than, I think, two, three times a week. He needs to start doing so. Move closer to the fucking stadium if you have to. Do whatever you have to do. Pardon my French, even though it's not French. Don't know why people say that. But just do something. Get them on the running machines a little bit more. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't normally do these after game reports. I'm not into it. I, you know, I can't be asked with it. I see loads of them already. But if I don't turn on a camera and just talk at it for five minutes, then I'm just gonna sit upstairs fuming. So, I'm not going to do that, man. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, you know, please hit the like button, um, drop us a comment as well. All of that helps with the algorithm so the videos get pushed out even further. Um, tune in tomorrow night. I've got, um, it's not a sports thing, it's more of a comedy thing. It's a would you rather. I've got myself and three other comedians coming on. Um, the following night on Thursday, Christmas Eve, um, we're doing a, a Christmas special of um, the killer, you know, the, the football quiz show that I do. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link up at the end of this video. Click it, go watch that. We're going to be doing a Christmas one of that as well. So, um, 
yeah, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And that's it, end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. It's me, Ted. Peace.